once got dosed with a man's amount of testosterone on accident. I sat on this chair and I got this like stuff on my arm and I was like, oh, wow, that's weird. That chair slippery. It must have been like polish or something. Yeah, and then so some a man rubbed testosterone cream, cream on his inner forearm. He sat on the he sat then... on the chair and I sat on the chair and I start looking at my boss and my coworkers and I'm like, oh my god, why do I want to, why do I want to like, uh, why do I want to do things with my co, why do I want to do things with my coworkers? Like this is making no sense. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Raw back with another video. If you're new to the platform, welcome to the tribe. At the end of this video, I hope you subscribe. So today we're going to um, be discussing women who understand male nature, especially sexual nature. And I think this is really important. And I think a lot of men need to keep it a buck when it comes to this. Um, because when we try to stress this to women, you know, they feel some type of way. And I'm going to be showing you a few clips that come from women who understand this and actually make some valid points all right so without further ado let's go ahead and jump into it men aren't natural monogamous people like and i'll tell you look at this the richest men the strongest men like kings celebrities why are they always cheating or have more than one woman because they have the option to women are attracted to them because of their fame or their power or their money so they get the option to cheat so they cheat more then the more you go down on the ranks an average man who's just married to his wife who doesn't have the means to attract another woman doesn't cheat but realistically men aren't built for monogamy they're designed even physically their bodies their sexual drives are designed to have more than one woman and so when we say men are cheaters we're already flawed in that sentence because we're not understanding how they're designed they're not designed for monogamy they're designed and they're acting out naturally to themselves and then we come in and we say you can't act naturally to what feels natural to you as a man what we do is what's wrong when we say they're cheaters what we should do as their partners in life as people that love them is bring them more women <laughs> Now, that's the Muslim woman that went viral a few months ago for basically saying the same thing. Um, I think she started like a dating company and everything off of this now, man. So um, clearly a woman who, you know, understands the nature of men. And obviously, I think a part of that is coming from the, the religion that she chooses, uh, which is Muslim. So I think that's one of the reasons why guys like take and sneak on turn Muslim as well. So, and you know, and same thing with Myron. Um, look, guys, I'm not to sit over. I'm not to sit over here and tell you what and what not to do, man. I am not the dick police. Y'all know that. If any, if any of y'all watching me, y'all, as long as y'all been watching me, y'all definitely know that. But at the same time, I think as men, as much as we gotta accept female nature we got to accept our nature as well all right now on to the next clip since as though there's a lot of videos going around about polygamous men and men cheating and stuff like that let me break it down for you guys men are naturally polygamous trying to force a man into a marriage where it's just one woman and him alone you're wasting your time any woman that actually believes in her mind that she can have a man for herself and he's only going to sleep with her and her alone you really got it twisted because when you really look at a woman's body and how it's made up just look at the cycle you kind of have two weeks on two weeks off and the reason i say that is because you will have that week where you're going through your ovulation you might feel a bit like shit then you have that week where you're going through your period what do you expect your man to do sit there and have the period with you come on their genitals are on the outside they are going to go out there and they're going to do what it is they have to do what is cheating cheating is when a man takes everything that he gives to you takes it away from you and now gives it to the other woman and leaves you without that is when he's cheating on you but if he's just sticking his dick somewhere else that's not cheating he's just fucking simple so just because he goes and sticks his bit somewhere else doesn't actually mean anything we know as women that men can sleep with as many girls as they want and have no emotional attachment to that woman some guys can even sleep with a woman that they hate and then afterwards they feel so bad for it but it's just the fact that they just needed that quick release at the time we don't need to take it too serious and start getting ourselves heartbroken and upset this is why i kind of love certain african cultures and their mentality because they've got it down to a t they understand they will tell you i am not leaving my husband just because he goes and gets another woman in fact they will embrace that and bring you in because it takes off the load of her like really i don't I, don't know what, I think it's just the western world that have conditioned us to believe that men should be with one woman i ain't thinking like that listen if i've got a guy and you go do something good for you my g good for you you're happy now mm -hmm. i'm not gonna let you touch me i'm not gonna let you touch me jeez man. we women really need to get with it wake up wake up come out of the clouds if you're there thinking that you're gonna have a man for yourself you're gonna be heartbroken every freaking relationship come on 
And let me just add to that while we're still on the topic. Ladies, if you're one of those that leave your man because he cheats on you, is it every guy you're going to leave because he so-called cheats on you? Listen, your body count will be getting higher and higher and higher if that is the reason why you leave. If you continuously leave your guy because he goes and fucks the next bitch, you really need to evaluate your mindset because trust me, at the end of the day, it's you that's just going to end up lonely and going through all of these men and it's going to be a matter of when you're older, it's like, hmm, every single guy slept with somebody else. Well, duh, that's what they do. Seriously, ju just don't have a heart then. Just don't have a heart and just leave. Jeez, I'm crying, in, man. All of this... He did this, he did that, and we're here fucking getting heartbroken, crying ourselves to sleep and all of that bush. Nope, we're not the panda. I know loyalty is not realistic amongst a man. You know, they're not, they're not programmed that way. I no longer require a man to be monogamous. That's not realistic. Wow. I believe that if a man can make over six figures, he should be able to hold the two or three bitches down. Um, and I think every woman should be okay with that. Because if he can afford to do that, and realistically speaking... A lot of women are not um, open to the idea of understanding that a man can afford to do these things in a position of power. Now you want to be with a one percenter, and I understand that, but a one percenter comes with no monogamy. You will be the main one, but he will have five or six bitches on the side, and you need to know what role you need to play in that position. All right, now first, for the first clip that I played, you know what, I never really thought about that, man, when you think about a woman's cycle. Because I never realized that they feel like crap for a whole entire week before they have their actual period, which is a whole nother week. So you mean to tell me there's only like two weeks out of the month where it's like it's open season and then it's like I got to go two weeks to just, you know what I mean? So, ooh, if that's true, then you know what? I think I can understand why... Ooh, man. That's tough, man. That's tough. That's tough, man. I don't I, I don't know if I can deal with that, man. I don't know, bro. Y'all let me know what y'all think. I know some, you know, Arab to each his own, man. But two weeks open season and then two weeks I'm over here like going back and forth with you and walking on eggshells trying to get trying to get some. Nah. Now, obviously, during your period, you know you gonna have you gonna have lockjaw that week. I'm ju I'm just saying, but get over here, for real man. Like, oh, I'm cool, man. I can't do it. All right, but I want to show everybody a clip, man, because at the end of the day, like I said at the top of the video, we gotta accept our nature as men as well. However. That doesn't mean monogamy isn't possible. As a matter of fact, I will argue that majority, if not most men, want that. And for the reasons that you're about to see in this next clip, all right? Check this out. I don't want to be a hoe. I don't like it there. I'm just going to be completely honest. I don't condone those actions. I don't want to have multiple options. I don't want to talk to multiple people. I want to talk to one person. I want a relationship. I want to be in love. I want to do all that cute stuff with one person. I can have one person stress me out. I'm not trying to deal with 20 plus people. No, I, I, it's not for me. I'm, it's over. No. Ladies and gentlemen. And I agree with that young man 1000%. You're not going to sit over here and tell me. Because see, I see what y'all be saying in the comments. The couple of times that I've done videos about polygamy. And... I've seen several comments similar to what that young man just said in this clip. Something to the likes of, well, you know, I don't, you feel me? Like, I don't want to have multiple women stressing me out because one woman stressing me out is enough. And these are facts. I, I can't sit over here and deny that. It's like when you really think about it, especially guys in this space who understand female nature now, like you don't went through that RP rage, you don't went through that phase, now you understanding and you're applying it you know what i mean to to your life in a way that benefits you the last thing you want to do is have to deal with that times two times three times five like come on man like for real like no disrespect man but yo these women can stress you out like even even the quote-unquote good ones and i think one of the big reasons why is because, like I say all the time on my channel, the burden of performance will always be on men. Because men are not born with their value like women are. 
It's just nature, bro. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this, man. If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. OGs, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hitting that bell notification. That way y'all know what I'm uploading. Hit the like button because it helps with the algorithm. It helps me reach a broader audience. Also, look out for the Travel Vlog channel. Unplug Traveler. Link is in the description and pinned in the comments. Until the next video, y'all. Deuces.